Stephen, the big question is whether LeBron will in fact play. What do you know about his status for tonight? Total game time decision, Dave McMenamin says. And secondly, Stephen A., how important should it be to LeBron James to play in this game? Well, first of all, I think it's a questionable decision in terms of, you know, whether as to whether or not he's going to play. He's listed as questionable. I sincerely doubt that he's going to miss tonight's game. Now, in the grand scheme of things, Michael, is it important that he plays? No. LeBron James has been a seven consecutive Thank NBA you. finals. It's just a regular season game. What matters most is what he does between mid-April to June. But I would say to you that tonight, specifically tonight's game, is the exception, and here's the reason why. Okay. Kyrie Irving, he's the reason Kyrie Irving left in part. Not the total reason. There were other elements that came into the equation. But Kyrie Irving has basically told the world he didn't want to be his teammate any longer. So when you're talking about LeBron James, the leader, it's one thing to be the champion, the league MVP, the best player in the world. But when you're the self-proclaimed leader, and deservedly so because we all know that you are, and a star that's in this league that has helped this franchise to a championship for the first time in more than a half century, decides to part ways from you. There's a reason why. We don't know all the reasons. I'm not sure I want to know all the damn reasons. <laughs> but what it comes down to is that he left in part because of you, and now he returns against the team who is considered your number one contender within the Eastern Conference on right. opening night, a nationally televised game. If you don't show up because you're LeBron James, we're not going to think about your ankle injury. What we're going to wonder is why, really, why did you really not play considering the Iron Man that you are? And that's just going to allow that storyline to percolate. I don't think LeBron James wants that, so he's going to be out on the court that's tonight a, a handling his business. That's what I'm predicting. That's an interesting theory, Stephen A. We go even Stephen now. We got Stephen Jackson <laughs> in the studio with me right now. So uh -huh. I'll make sure What's I distinguish up, who oh, I'm man. talking to here. Like, look, y'all both love <laughs> movies as much as I do. This isn't love in basketball. Right. Like, LeBron James is not playing for Kyrie Irving's heart. So right. it's not, he's gone. He's not coming back. And this is a guy that keeps referring to him as the kid. For me, while I'm interested in seeing the interaction, and yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's drama in terms of the, their first time getting together, and maybe they end up switching on each other, being one-on-one, -on -one, whatever. I look at it from a Cavaliers perspective. As much as I want to see LeBron, Stephen Jackson, I'm almost more interested in seeing what the Cavs do without him because we know where they're going to be, which is at minimum in the Eastern Conference Finals, if not the NBA Finals. And we know what their weakness has been right. when LeBron doesn't play. Right. So Ty Lue says they're better than the team that's gone 4-23 and the last three years without LeBron. I would like to see that tonight. I think LeBron, if he can't go, it's about Game 7, not Game 1, as far as I'm concerned, Stephen Jackson. Yeah, and I, I, I think he should play, but it's a similar situation. Like, Stephen A is the OG. I'm the little homie. That's the same situation with LeBron, <laughs> with LeBron and, uh, and Kyrie. Uh -huh. the big homie and the little homie. OG and little homie. But I think he needs to play, not only just to, to see where he's, at, where he's at with his ankle, but for leadership. First game of the season, you got to have all your teammates out there. This game doesn't matter, but I think he should be there just for, just for the betterment of the team. But you know if he could, he would. Well, he could, he would. I think he will. Okay, Stephen A. Well, the one thing I want to add to that, Michael, is this. Here's the part that I think you got to pay attention mm -hmm. to. LeBron James doesn't need it as an individual per se, right. but the leadership that, Steve, that, that, that Steven spoke, uh, you know, alluded to is exactly what I was alluding to because of the effect that it's going to have on the team. And mm -hmm. you may say you're more interested in seeing what the team will do without mm -hmm. LeBron. My response to you, Michael, would be this. Why would you want to see that? Because if the <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers are going to win a championship, that's it. if the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to win a championship, they ain't doing it without LeBron. Well, they so lost anything it that you but do Stephen needs to be with LeBron on the floor. But Stephen A, they lost it last year when he went to the bench. Yeah, that was like this, that, that people are saying this may be the best supporting cast he's had once IT comes and, back. They lost and, and, it against the Warriors when he when he sat out. And I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, ten times out of ten times against Golden State, a yeah. caliber of a team like that, they're gonna lose without LeBron James on the no floor. No question. Get over it. But it, maybe they don't, maybe they don't get the doors blown off him. But let me ask you this. Okay, cool. So let me oh, let's move okay. on to Kyrie, okay. who I know you, you're well connected to Kyrie. All right. Uh, if, in case y'all wondering, the Celtics record for most points in a debut is Neek with 25. I know y'all remember it back in 94, mm -hmm. 95. What should Kyrie's mindset be? going into this game. Steven Jackson talked about the big homie, little homie phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Steven A, obviously you close to Kyrie. What should his mentality be going back to Cleveland tonight? How will he approach this game? He wants to... He he wants to be the man, yes. so show that you're the man. But it doesn't necessarily have to come with points. He has nothing to prove as a scorer. He averaged 27 and 29 in the NBA Finals, respectively, over the last two years. He hit the game-winning shot to seal a Game 7 victory and deliver a championship to the city for the first time in more than a half century. He has nothing to prove as a scorer. Mm -hmm. What he wants to do is be that primary number one option that you can give the ball to, that the offense evolves completely around while he's running the show. In other words, Gordon Haywood 
is succeeding because of him. Al Horford is, is succeeding because of him. Whether it's Jason Tatum or Marcus Smart or Jalen Brown or anybody else, they are going through him. It's right. not the other way around. He needs to show that when he's on the court in that role right. that a team can flourish with him than without him. That's, exactly That's what right. he needs to That's prove. exactly right. That, that we agree on because that was a knock on him before. When LeBron went to the bench or when he didn't play, it's how they struggled. And so now you have a Kyrie Irving who he got what he wanted. He got to be the face of a franchise away from LeBron James. To your point, Stephen A. and Stephen Jackson, we know that he can get his. Right. Now get the most out of these teammates, albeit it's, it's a lot of new teammates. Get the most out of them. Show a level of maturity when it comes to leadership, setting the tone, encouraging your teammates, setting them up more. And, and now get the win, most important, when it comes and, to and, and, the, and that's what we all want to see. Yeah. We know he can score. We know he's the best ball handler in the game. We know he can create. And he's a great one-on-one -on -one player. How are you going to make Tatum better? How are you going to make all these other guys right. better? And that's what we want to see. And that's but, a process. But you have to win while doing that. Yes. And uh, like I said, I don't think nothing's going to change with him but the jerseys. That's the only thing that's changing. But at the same time, he got to make those guys better. And he has to win. He has to win. I appreciate y'all making me better. And this just in the Sports Center, Stephen A., LeBron's playing. LeBron, like, nice. no surprise. We knew it. <laughs> was, we wasted our breath wondering whether LeBron was going to play. When he was rocking out to the Gap Band on Snapchat, we should have known this man was going to play tonight. It's too big of a game.